It is an absolute crime the position that Roman Reigns has put you in. The cloud now hanging over your reign as WWE Universal Champion belies your effort. I know you fought like hell to win the title. You're damn right I did. I had to compete in an extra match too, and I still made it to the finals. And won. A fine achievement that the WWE Universe nonetheless looks askance at. Unfortunately, Reigns beat Cody as much as you did. Perhaps more. People think Cody would have won? Great. Tonight, we face each other again, one on one. I am ready to prove to you and the WWE Universe that I deserve to carry the title. Good lad. You can't let the world define you. You have to define yourself. And now, I'm going to define myself as the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Love to hear it. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's a very busy night with the draft starting. Good luck. Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of WWE 2K24. My rise with the undisputed WWE Champion Kid Gorgeous. So last episode, we um, we did win the championship with some hijinks. Um, it was, uh, you know, I was winning. Of course, I was dominating the match. And then, of course, Cutscene came in and Cody got the cutter on me. Another Cody cutter. I'm sorry. He got the, um, actually, there's a Cody cutter. Yeah, so he got his, he's got his move on anyway, whatever it's called. Um, <laughs> and um, the crossroads, that's what it's called. He got the, he got the crossroads on me. And... Uh, you know, but then unfortunately the ref was down, so he didn't get the pin. Um, when I say unfortunately, I mean unfortunately for him because yay for me because I won. Roman Reigns came in, speared him, and I got the championship. But now it's like, well, you know, it's my reign is kind of what do we say tainted by Roman Reigns' interference in the match, and so now. I get to face Cody Rhodes day after SummerSlam, WWE, Raw, and we're going to have a face-to-face, one-on-one rematch where we get to show the world that the gorgeous one is the legendary, absolute genius wrestler, tactical mastermind, and he's going to put Cody in his place. Cody, man, I was going to give you a call, but figured we should talk in person. I don't blame you. I know you and Reigns weren't in on it together. He was trying to hurt me, not help you. I appreciate that. At the same time, we both know I had you beat when Reigns attacked me from behind. Is that what we know? One, two, three, four, five. And that's when I got up to check on the ref. I don't need to recap. I was there, and I have the championship to prove it. <laughs> you took the crossroads, it was over. Look, you hung tough, your time will come, but last night, you were done. It was a strategy. I knew the ref was down. Why would I waste my energy kicking out? That's kind of a BS call, but technically I was beating him, and one move shouldn't take me completely out of the commission. So I'm calling it was a strategy because that's the only way it makes sense in my mind. I technically was whooping him, whooping him down hard, and he got one move on me. Okay, sure, right, pal. Seriously, while you were counting in your head, I was just chilling, taking a break. You know, some me time. I guess some me time. Well, I hope you saved up plenty of energy while you were looking up at the lights because you're gonna need it tonight. See you out there. All right, look at me in my uh, <laughs> in my shirt. That that's not my taste. Um, but hey, it's it works. You know, it's that's my lounge. My like, I feel like I'm, you know, on a tropical beach on the, you know, just 
thinking of my height or something while wearing that shirt, kind of look going on there. Uh, I look like what's his name from uh, Sam from um, you know Burn Notice. <laughs> what kind of shirt I got going on there? I mean, okay, his is a little bit more. Um, anyway, it's kind of it's kind of kind of similar kind of feel to it. But anyway, let's go. In addition to tonight's huge SummerSlam rematch, opening the show, the WWE Draft kicks off on WWE Raw. What a packed night, eyeballs. And the Miz says, why is no one talking about how it's a travesty that SmackDown doesn't have a champion? Working hard to address this soon. It's a travesty. A travesty. All right. Undisputed. So I want to start off this episode a little different this time. Just to kind of start off with some narration before... Um, in- the following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship! Where's Samantha? This is Raw. We should have Samantha Irvin out there. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, looking to continue his dominance in WWE. Competing at his highest level, striving for the main event, and the biggest prize. Give him his props. Give him a little entrance here. All right. Introducing first the challenger, Cody Rhodes. He doesn't have to be impressed with the form that Cody Rhodes has taken. He's become a leader, a mentor, and a main eventer. Those are all great things to be, Saxton, but we all know what Cody truly wants to be more than anything else. He's a world champion. Hard times and perseverance, Cody Rhodes embodies them all. All in the name of finishing the story that has eluded his father. Cody seems dead set on reaching the pinnacle in the name of the Rhodes family. All right, we're not worried about that. The champion. It's the brand new, undisputed WWE Universal Champion. The undisputed Universal Champion, Kid Gorgeous! Do we have to call this guy undisputed? After Roman Reigns handed him the title at SummerSlam, he's very much disputed. The finals were full of controversy, but the champion did win the tournament and has another opportunity to prove himself tonight. Can the Dark Horse take down the American Nightmare one more time? You can dispute me all you want. I'm still the champion. WWE Universal 
Universal Champion, Kid Gorgeous. That's me. The gorgeous one. That's what it's all about. The undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The WWE Universe knows all about the history, the lineage, everything that goes into the importance of this match. With Roman Reigns back in Hollywood, we can finally settle the WWE Universal Championship controversy once and for all. That's right, by getting the title to the... Rhodes and the Dark Horse jockeying for position here. Stop! Stop the damn match! What is Miz doing out here? I said, stop! this unsanctioned match. That's right, unsanctioned. I'm so sorry to ruin his lordship's plan, but Raw's Royal General Manager, William Regal, seems to have forgotten something. What is Miz talking about? Unsanctioned? Regal forgot that I had the first pick in the draft. So this conspiracy to steal the undisputed WWE Universal Championship for Raw ends tonight. He's not going to do this in the middle of his huge match, is he? The WWE Universal Champion has been drafted to SmackDown. Effective immediately. Miz can't do this. He just did, Saxton, and it's brilliant. Come on. Get out of the ring and grab your bags. It's time to go to your new home. Cheer up, Rhodes. I'm sure Regal will give you another chance at the World Heavyweight Championship. Regal doesn't look happy. Speak of the devil. Have a look, Regal. All the I's are dotted, and all the T's are crossed. That's what I thought. Now tell my WWE Universal Champion to get out of that ring and pack his bags. I'm afraid Mr. Mazanin is correct. This rematch is canceled and the undisputed WWE Universal Champion is bound for SmackDown. A huge change in the geography of WWE <laughs> has just taken place in the middle of this championship match. Good luck countering that move in the draft, Regal. Miz just told the whole Raw audience, you want excitement, you come to SmackDown. While a huge question mark continues to hang over the Dark Horse Champion. All right, unexpected, but hey, that's how it is. That's how it is. So, <laughs> the undisputed WWE Universal Champion has arrived at SmackDown. SmackDown. Without Regal and Reigns, this guy would be working at the concession stand. That's more than an exaggeration, Corey. He put on a show at SummerSlam, and I, for one, think SmackDown got a steal in the draft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see. I dominated Raw last year, so it's only fair I dominate SmackDown this year. So I got to see the Dark Horse gear and the SummerSlam arena for my rise. Okay. All right, and I got my upgrade points too. 23, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking to anybody else until I get these uh, points used first. So am I going to go with defense? Or am I going to go with resilience? Or am I going to go with grappling? Um... Let's see if I do this. Uh, okay, my overall is not going to change uh, higher than 86. Unless I do this. Nope. Okay. But um, I feel like my grappling's at a good spot. My submission probably could go a little bit higher. But um, because I am a, te a technical wrestler and I probably should focus on that. Let's see. Technical submission. I'm at 88 right now for that. And grappling, I'm at 85. Uh, my defense is at... Yeah, I'm going to bump up my defense a little bit more. That's just going to be all the points there. But then again, resilience. Recovery. Durability. Pen escape. 
nah, actually, no, I'm going to go with defense. Because the one thing I like is being able to do reversals. Um, and then I'll focus on everything else later. Because I want, but, you know, the point is, you know, if I can be, my survivability in the match is what matters. Being able to, you know, as long as I can get my reversals in, oh, yeah. Then I'll, I won't have to worry so much about resilience. I won't have to worry about so much about, um, so I mean, of course, I'm going to build my resilience after this. That's going to be next. But I just wanted to get my uh, my defense up there. Um, because, yeah, a great defense is a strong offense, as I say. So um, next up is resilience, though. Seriously, i got to remind myself. This resilience is next. All right, so SmackDown, GM, The Miz has guaranteed a must-see welcome for the new WWE Universal Champion, Kid Gorgeous. Tune in to find out what's in store for the Dark Horse. Alright. Okay, I'm kind of curious. What is in store for the Dark Horse? Alright, let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen. Let us hear it. Oh, I know what's up for me. I'm going to be going up against... Uh, well, we'll see. Miz. Good to see you too, champ. Come on. What's with the boo-boo face, when I'm the one who liberated you from his lordship? I didn't need liberating. Let's skip the pleasantries. You wanted the WWE Universal Champion on SmackDown. Here I am. What I wanted is the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The champion can be anyone who understands what it means to represent the most must-see sports entertainment show on Earth. You think you're that guy? I'm all kinds of that guy. Every single guy wants to be the guy that I am. I'm my own man. You made the right call, or I'm my own man. What does what does I'm my own man even mean? I would say you made the right call. If you're looking for must see, turns out you made the right call. I've been waiting for the chance to show the WWE Universe what I am. Yep. And whether it's SmackDown or Raw makes no difference to me. Much to my surprise, I dig your attitude. Maybe Regal hasn't ruined you. But if you think you're must-see, let's find out when you defend that WWE Universal Championship against Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens, I'll be KO again. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I'll beat KO again. 100%. I beat KO in the tournament, mm -hmm. and I will gladly beat him again. Excellent! And just a heads up, I might come see your match in person. You know, just an impartial observer to get a closer look at the champion I drafted. Absolutely no other reason at all. See you out there! <laughs> Absolutely no reason at all. That is not at all suspicious. Not at all suspicious. Let's see, it means... Ms. GM jacket, Ms. Ms. GM pants, and his shoes. I guess I could always dress myself up in his outfit just to kind of, uh, just to kind of, um, just, uh, troll him. <laughs> Thought it should be kind of funny. Like, look at us twinsies. No, I wouldn't do that. The following contest. It's scheduled for one fall and is for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. So he's announcing for both Raw and SmackDown. He's doing much more for cold stares than warm welcomes. All it's right. Kevin Owens. I'm just going to do slight, light intros, not the whole thing. It's this point on. newest acquisition. The gorgeous one. Yeah. Kids. Gorgeous. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Yeah. 
Introducing the challenger from Marineville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! And his opponent from Richmond, Virginia, weighing in at 228 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion Kid Gorgeous! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. The championship of all championships and the biggest prize in WWE. Possession Let's of this go. title puts you in a league of your own. The Miz is wasting no time with his new acquisition. Dang. We have a WWE Universal Championship match right uh -oh. here, right now on SmackDown. I'm smelling a title change here. KO's a hard man to beat. He's even harder to beat twice. Not that he needs it with the title at stake, but Owens will definitely have some extra motivation after losing to the champ in the opening round at SummerSlam. And this is just next level brutality. That was a furious assault from the champion. Each blow coming in harder than the last. Gotta dominate him. Gotta dominate him. In the head. Get back here. Leg Larian. The champ showing that quickness. Dribbling. Oh, great. Our GM Miz is here to distract the Dark Horse. He's scouting his new champion. There's a difference. <laughs> Come on, don't distract me. Uh oh, I missed it. Ah. Those are down for the victory. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. What do you think this is, sir? A dragon screw leg whip. What a. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Oof. Great escape by Owens. Crap. On the mark. Oh, close. How do you kill? Oh. Challenger. Wasting no time getting his shoulder up. I suppose you have to take the shot, but it's still too early to wrap up this one just yet. Crap. He saw it coming from Owens. He is looking to do some serious harm. A huge target placed on the patella of the challenger there. Tiger suplex! Right on the back of the neck. That had to have taken an incredible amount of leverage to pull off on someone so much bigger. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. Straight kick right to the patella. <laughs> you fire a oh, shot like I got that, that again. completely immobilize your opponent. How are they going to hear after this match? And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Look at this. Snap suplex. Amazing how smooth that looked. Must be hitting the weight room, huh? Incoming. Boom. It's not looking good for Owens. Owens is under the gun. Boom. To a backbreaker. Painful. A bad place to be for the challenger. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. And I can't tell where exactly it's coming from, but Kevin is bleeding pretty badly now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yay. Oh. Momentum going back to Owens' corner. Now's a chance for Owens Ooh. to get back in the match. And I missed that. Uh, uh oh. I missed the freaking freeze Mr. Y. I just want to try to do something else. I missed the Y there. Ouch. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Oh my gosh, what impact! Oh, you power bomb. That might be it. How's that for a surprise? What a show of power! And Owens Oof. able to reverse it. He is getting rid Oops. of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. And Ouch! Breaker. Good. Man. 
was nasty. Drop kick down low. One of my favorites. The champ just yeah. striking at will. Merciless display. To yes, submission An move. An inverted Texas Cloverleaf submission. This is painful. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, Dang, he was nice. quick on that. Dang, I was not expecting was that response. To get out of harm there. Oh. Oof. The springboard attack fails to land. There we go. We're about to see. Well executed suplex. The title's going nowhere. Kiss no. Good night. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Uh-oh. Shooting star press. All right. So a... Crap. Same. No, don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. I am the ball, bro. I am the ball. Owens was scouted there. Fisherman suplex. KO is getting knocked around a bit. Owens is getting shut down at every turn. Uh oh. The slingshot. Slingshot. All right, so I got to get him inside because I got two finishers to pull off. And he gets sent back into the ring. Taking aim. Owens is a There we go. Duck. Set up for a second time. Suplex. I think the Suplex there. And no ring. Oh, kicking rope break. Kicking <laughs> rope break. Why? No. Owens is going to look to press on the advantage. Owens showing it's not time for lying down. It's time for fighting back. I think I missed it. Check out, I missed it too. Keep your voice down. Down to Owen and a double axe handle. I think I missed that one. I was doing good. Crap. Uh oh. Crap. Okay. It was so fast. There we go. He had it scouted. Going up to the top. What are we going to see here? Dragon sleeper locked in. Oh. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. All right. One more time. He's about to do it. He's about to do it again. Strong suplex. Looks like the champ. Okay, hold on a second. I've got to drag him. And i got to move the controls for that. Uh, control. Okay. Pick up object. Drag opponent. I need to figure out how to drag opponents. Reposition opponent. Is going to retain. <sighs> Crap. Oh, yeah. Hold on a second. What? Actually, maybe we get the pin without the uh, rope break. Son of a gun, I really have to change my, my finisher now. Impressive counter by KO. These two trading counters, an absolute master class. Butterfly suplex. One, two, three. That's it. The champ stays the champ. <laughs> what? What? Surprise with a leverage pin? What? I didn't even see that as that. Okay, you know what? Whatever. I. The Miz is wasting no this time is... with his new acquisition. We have what? a WWE Universal Championship match right here, right now on SmackDown. I'm smelling a title change here. KO's a hard man to beat. He's even harder to beat twice. Not that he needs it with the title at stake, but Owens will definitely have some extra motivation after losing to the champ in the opening round at SummerSlam. 
Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Take this, man. I'm I'm pissed now. <laughs> How are they gonna hear after this match? Doling out as much damage as possible, looking to silence. Our GM Miz is here to distract the Dark Horse. He's scouting his new champion. There's a difference. He's returning fire. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Range down an elbow retaliation. You suffer a direct hit like that, and it's tough to move. How are they going to hear after this match? Just going all out with every blow. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. KO is getting knocked around a bit. Owens needs to find an opening. Oh, that was an opening right there. Press on the advantage. Uh -oh. Could be a chance for Owens to change the complexion of this match. Inverted D. Inverted is DDT, yes. That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. What a nasty STO. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Blood hole stomping. Crap. The challenger with a rabid attack. Will the champ find an answer? There was no issue with that attack. Hey, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Who are we to judge? Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Ooh, elbow strike. The challenger not looking good right now. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Oh, strong impact. Rear chin lock, and now just rapid fire punches. The champion just teed off. Our challenger found no way to break free there. Got him where he wants him. Up and down. Falcon oh, Arrow. I was yes. Not expecting that unbelievable yes. power and core strength. Oh, I was right, I ran right into that DDT. I was like, please, more. Hooked up. Ouch, another one to the head. Go Dang. Bad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. This is not. Uh oh, great thinking to stop Owens. Another one. Forced down. The difficulty to pull that off was off the charts. Owens looking sluggish. Things could be winding down. This could be him. winding down. As the hook looking for slice. Bread. What? Did he just reverse my finisher? He just reversed my finisher. Look at this. And you have stupid. That was stupid. It was a daring decision that didn't provide the expected result. Yeah, stupid. As impressive as that was, it has to take something out of a smaller competitor. How are they gonna hear after this match? You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. And he tosses it back in there. The challenger is in some big trouble. These are dire straits for him. He needs to be extra cautious now. Yeah, Kale will have something new to complain about if things stay this way. He's been complaining about your commentary. All right, leverage pin. So now catch him off guard with a leverage pin. Show him that you're must see champion. Press LB and and together while in the ring. Okay, I've never done the leverage pin before, so we're gonna do leverage pin. For years, Saxton, just an incredible amount of right. lower body strength displayed there. KO getting rolled up here, Two, and that will do it. Another flash win for the WWE Universal <sighs> Champion. Wait, All right. what is Miz doing? Interception by the champion. Talk about a backfire. And now KO is begging for mercy. Come on, this is unnecessary. Come on. Share to the gut. This is an all-out assault. Our GM Miz was the one who introduced the chair in the first place. Yep, and then do charge the me. Maybe needed to take a seat after a tiresome match. We don't know. 
dude came at so me. How do you explain this? Miz looks like a kid caught with his hand in the cookie jar with that table. So much for being an impartial observer. Run, Miz. Get out of there. Looks like the champion might take advantage of that table Miz set up. Another right? backfire for our yes. GM. He better not Divide go through like this. Through the table. And through, through the table. Yes. Kevin Owens is absolutely laid out. Miz tried to involve himself in this match and managed to hoist himself by his own petard. The WWE Universal Champion has come to SmackDown and he's making a statement to Miz, KO, in the entire WWE Universe. Yeah, well, take a look in the Miz's eyes, Cole. That champion's gonna regret this. <laughs> Wow. wow 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 that was hilarious yeah that was um caught the chair okay so the leverage pin was the um i didn't it didn't actually have the uh, objective in a normal the upper up, 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 up corner like he normally does so i didn't really start was actually the objective until i pressed the um anyway after assaulting fight owens fight after their wwe universal title match on smackdown Miz has promised serious consequences for Kid Gorgeous. Right, of course. Listen to y'all talking about this chump barely winning his first defense on day one. I held the WWE Universal title for so long that I had nothing left to prove. Call me if Kid Gorgeous makes it through 30 days. Laugh, laugh, laugh. Ha ha ha. All right, well, you made it, you know, a long time by cheating because you couldn't win on your own. So your championship is not really legitimate. So, ha ha ha. I didn't have the bloodline watching my back during that match. I handled it on myself. Take that, sucker. All right. So Reigns is a, right about one thing. Heavy is the head that wears a crown. As WWE Universal Champion, you will always have a target on your back. Be careful, especially now that it's clear Miz is working against you. Remember what I said, it doesn't matter what you've done up until this point. Okay, no, that's just a new one. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Alrighty. Wait, I thought I, I thought I clicked on everything. Oh, I, I, that's right. I just... Okay, that's... Alright, I just had to clear that out. And now there's nothing else there. And now I get to talk to the Miz, who's really upset with me for, you know... Catching him red-handed with the chair and with the table, and using them both in KO. What the hell, Miz? Impartial observer? You were passing chairs, setting up tables. I'm surprised you didn't chuck a ladder at me for good measure. Turns out the situation called for a partial observer. It's what's best for the image of the brand. And that would be Kevin Owens? What does he have that I don't? KO's exciting, unpredictable. Yeah, he's a little rough around the edges, but Maurice has her stylist working on a makeover, and there's this amazing jacket being tailored. Look, the point is, KO has promised to be the Miz's undisputed WWE Universal Champion, and that's what matters. Believing a word KO tells you is your first mistake. And more importantly, I've beaten your poster boy. Twice now. Beaten him with a chair. Put him through a table. Yep. You mentioned a ladder earlier. Well, let's go there. At Clash at the Castle, you will put the WWE Universal title on the line against KO in a TLC match. Fine. Bring it. I'm going to walk into that match with my title, and I'll walk out with it too. No, no, no. You will not walk in with the WWE Universal title because it will be hanging high above the ring, right where it belongs, out of your reach. All righty. Alrighty, I am ready for it. Look at my face. Do I look concerned? Actually, he does look concerned. That looks like a concerned face. But uh, I am ready. I am ready with my unblinking fish eyes. I am 100% ready. Let's go. Will the third time be the charm for K Kevin Owens when he challenges Kid Gordas for the Universal Championship in a TLC match at Clash at the Castle? A fluke and a banana pill do not require a charm. A clash at the title, so a clash at the <laughs> clash at the castle. I expose Kid Gorgeous for the chump he is and walk out with the first real 
Fork out the first real undisputed WWE champion, Universal Champion of the post Roman era. The first real, I am real. I'm alive. I am not a figment of your imagination. I am flesh and blood. Speaking of blood, I made you bleed. A lot's changed since the last time we spoke in an empty arena. Indeed. That night I gave you an opportunity, and you took full advantage. Mm -hmm. I guess. Most everyone in the WWE Universe thinks Roman Reigns won me the title, and KO only beat himself to get me there. There will always be doubters. Every WWE Universal Champion will be in the shadow of Roman Reigns in one way or another. At least until someone can break the record with the title. Well, that's pretty much an impossible goal. Perhaps. My point is that you should take it a step at a time. You'll be the dark horse until one day you turn around and someone calls you the favorite. Done being patient. I'll just keep winning. I'll just have to keep winning. Let's see, I can say done being patient and be impatient. Or I can say I'll just have to keep winning. I'll just have to keep winning. Yeah. I think that might be a ways off. I'll just have to keep winning. A dominant victory over Owens tonight will go a long way towards answering that question in SmackDown's locker room, if not with its general manager. Miz can be a real tosser. <laughs> Quite right. But it seems to me that he has also given you an opportunity to prove he and the doubters wrong. That's what being a champion is, huh? A constant battle to prove you deserve your spot at the top of the card. Indeed it is, my boy. Indeed it is. I just happened to have a thing with uh, having a British um, <laughs> mentors. First it was Tavish, now it's <laughs> William Regal. I love it. Time for the kick orders to come out. Galloping into history, defying all odds. It's and the it's Dark Horse. From Richmond, Virginia, weighing in at 228 pounds. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Kid Gorgeous. It just goes to show you, you can't judge a book by its cover. And you can't judge a wrestler by where they start their career. Match after match, the Dark Horse is turning doubters into believers. The doubts are probably the very thing that fueled him. He really should be thanking those of us who didn't have his back. I'm gonna bump up the lining in my um, in my uh, intro. My intro. Let's go. As the undisputed WWE Universal Championship literally hangs in the balance, the fresh champion looks to prove himself again. No oh, the what? Oh, How did I miss him? How did I miss him? He was right there. Dangerous. What? Larger opponent. Oh, flipping senton. That'll take the wind right out of. Oh my! Here it comes. Hooked up. And nice. Ouch. Suplex. That was unexpected. Kevin Owens feeling a sense of confidence here. 
Close line. Keep, keep talking. Counters that. Ouch. Toss back into the ring. All right. Oh, I took off the uh, the hood of the announce table. Now there go the monitors. Bad intentions in mind here. Come on, Byron, get in front of me. No. I got gotcha. you. Boom! Utilizing the unforgiving steal of the ladder. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Gonna be tough to bounce back from that one. Yeah. Look at this. Boom! Nice. And it had to have taken maximum effort to lift their opponent like that. Get back here, Leg Larian. A big showing of agility from the champ there. Suplex. Owens running into some trouble. Owens just can't find any breathing room. And now a series of stomps and kicks. The champ oh, yeah. is backing off, oh, okay, and nice. that's that's single kick in. Okay. Drop kick to the knee and aim on point. Like a <laughs> sniper taking out the knee. <laughs> I love that kick. Ah, I love that kick. That is just uh, insulting. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> and I would have took a lot of power to pull that off, but you have to do all you can to break down the larger opponent. He's been placed in the corner now. Gotta hurt. And the unabated offense continues. Yeah, and every attempt to fight back's being negated. Dragon sleeper locked in. Oh my god. Flipping oh. Senton. A bad place to be for the challenger there's a reason tlc doesn't stand for tender loving care here in wwe cole the wwe universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now Ooh. owens gets control hits him with the counter owens finally creates some more offense for himself now's a chance for owens to get back in the match Uh oh. Ow! That's the hardest part of the map. Many a match has uh -oh. turned on that oh, kind of contact with the apron. This could be a key moment in this contest. Ooh. Stump puller leg snap. Very effective. <laughs> oh, driving the elbow. This match is spilled out to the ringside area. And as we can see, tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. Ooh. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, man. Nice drop kick. The champ's precision on full display. That can dislocate a kneecap. How are they going to hear after this match? And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Not much fight left in KO. It's Owens oh, caught off guard. Oh. Here's his chance. Find that ladder and claim your prize. He's back into the ring. He's setting up the ladder now. Looks like to me he's got it in the right spot, Michael. He's heading for higher ground. Climbing the ladder now. You never know. Mm. This could be it. Oh. Uh oh. Going for it all. Interesting timing, to say the least. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Oh. No, I was there. Here's no. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> oh. As soon as he got up there, I started to miss it. That was... Uh, Kid, gorgeous. That's what I'm talking about right there. Look into my face. Look into my eyes. The eyes of a champion. A disturbed champion, but a champion nevertheless. All right. 
Um, yeah, I, I dominated Owens. Uh, he got he got some he got some good uh, turnarounds. He got some good reversals. But in the end, the gorgeous one prevails. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. All right, so that is it. A must see champion. That is Kid Gorgeous. He is must see all the time, every day, every moment of every life. All right, so there's Tavish to talk to. Hey, Tavish is back. Uh, Justine. So we got the case. Okay, so let's see. That's a challenge match. This is the storyline, and this is a challenge match. So what I'm gonna most likely gonna do next episode is I'm gonna take care of the challenge matches first because the challenge matches usually give you like a bonus or percentage of something, um, and some nice um, attribute points. And the great thing is they're usually like single, they're usually single, usually single shot champions. Sorry, single shot matches. So um, I'll get a one shot there. Do the one shot. Uh, with Justine's, you know, storyline, whatever that, whatever that match is gonna be, and kind of go from there and see. Then I also have another match. I got to see MVP wants to talk to me about something, and the WWE Performance Center wants to talk to me about something. So I got a few um, little little side stories that's gonna be going on before, like you know, the main storyline story continues. Um, and of course you know me because I'm a completionist. I will be doing all this other side stuff. Um, but there we go. After the Dark Horse Champion scored another win over KO in a brutal TLC match, what does The Miz have in store for Kid Gorgeous next? We shall see. <coughs> the implication that I supported KO in any way is an insult to my impartiality as SmackDown GM. I only want what's best for my show. Um, the Miz, you literally said you can't stand Kid Gorgeous and hey, KO, let's make you champion. This is all your fault. Angry face from KO. Is this what you had in mind for your brand's image, The Miz? Ha 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 ha. That's what I said. Ha ha ha. Because, yay, it's great. Alright, so... This is a storyline match, so we're not going to really focus on that, not going to focus on that. Next episode, we're going to take care of this other stuff. Let me just quickly come jump in here and decide if I'm going to put any of these points towards something. Um, I could technically bump up my aerial and running by two levels. Um, I mean, that would help because my aerial jump was kind of short because, I mean, he was literally right there and somehow I missed him. Could have just been the animation. Maybe I just have to wait until the animation's finished because it just ignored the fact that I was jumping right on top of him. But I think I'm gonna leave that last. Uh, I usually don't focus on my aerials and my running with uh, with this particular character. Uh, I really want to get uh, my my resilience up by one, and then focus a little bit more on my submission. And then I'll go on to like grappling and then striking. But um. I want to I want to pump up my resilience at least one more, just in case I have a difficult match where I really need that extra, like you know, my my need my, my my limbs to be happy with me and not be too weak. Um, so the, the next challenge match should give me just enough to where I have uh, resilience as a boost, and then I can bump up my submission. Um, I'm probably gonna need let's see, 22 plus 18. So I probably need like 40 points before I can bump up submission where I want it to be. I want it to be at least level 7 because I really want to get more submission um, wins uh, this run. Because I am uh, Kid Gorgeous and Kid Gorgeous is the lock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm kidding. No, no, we're done with that. We're no, no more lock. No, no more lock talk. But um, he was, you know, he's still, you know, a submission master. So I want to, I want to get people locked by my move, and I want them to be. Um, Crying for mercy and tapping um, endlessly, ceaselessly. But until then, great episode. We are back in business. Another season of My Rise. And uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. I really appreciate you. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I've got more to come. And I, I, support, I, I appreciate all the support you guys give me and all the support I can get. I need all the support I can get. Uh, because my channel is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly weak on subscriptions and weak on likes and ob observations and watches and readings and not readings, but um, just viewings, period. So if you can share it, if you can like it, I really appreciate it. 
Um, have a great day.